working on the garlic, Joe. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. That's pretty good. So, guys, it's been 30 years. What have we learned? I think we've learned a lot of things. One of the things that I've learned over time is that when I was young, I had all these facts and figures in my head. And I would sit down with a client, and if I was talking about a particular topic, I would spell everything I knew. I would talk about everything I knew, right? Because I wanted them to feel like, hey, this, this person is knowledgeable. This person is experienced. But now, working with so many clients over the years, I've really learned um, to listen. A lot of times you do feel like you're a psychologist because there are, again, emotions getting in the way of sometimes making rational decisions. You know, our job, what we do, is way beyond investing. It's all about the relationship. And it's the relationship in helping folks uh, find the right plan, one that they'll stick with, one that achieves their goals. Clients are more than a portfolio. Right? I mean, it's, it's beyond that because we're helping them set goals. Helping them set goals and then we're monitoring the progress along the way. We're working on tax planning strategies, multi-generational multi planning, working with the, the client, possibly the kids, the next generation. We're looking at their life insurance and long-term care insurance. I've learned that managing expectations is very important, especially when it comes to portfolio investment returns. You know, we go through different periods of time where the markets do exceptionally well, and you have ex people have expectations that maybe you should get 12, 15 percent rate, rates of return. We, with our tools that we've been able to develop over the years, can manage that and help people understand that you will go through some ups and downs, and what's the reasonable rate of return, what's your best and worst case scenarios, and clients are happy because what we tell them is going to happen eventually winds up occurring. You know, we're able to set realistic expectations with high degree of probabilities. And at the end of the day, you know, we can all agree that uh, you know, greed can quickly turn to grief. And when you're shooting for the stars, you know, you're probably going to strike right. out. I've learned that you just can't get rattled when the markets start getting volatile. I think it's natural for someone to get rattled when it's their life savings and they're seeing the, the, the news on a daily basis. Right. It's expected to occur, we anticipate it will occur, the portfolios are diversified to protect when that occurs. And so it's just a matter of riding it out and knowing that you will come out on the other side better than ever. And I think it's trying times like that that's ultimately the test of our philosophy, of our strategy, mm -hmm. and our metal to see the strategy through. One of the things that brings me joy going to work every day, I mean, the simplest one is the, the fact that we get to earn a living in helping people. Yeah, definitely making a difference. We can see that. We can see how we make a difference in people's lives, and that's so satisfying. Cheers, guys. Cheers. It's been a great 30 years. Cheers to 30 years. To 30 years. Congrats. Cheers. Congratulations.